Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I got an update on some White Sox news, some comings and goings, signings, what have you. Um, the White Sox, the first bit of news is the comings, or the stayings, as it were. The White Sox have come to terms with five... Um, arbitration eligible players and those five players were Alex Colome, Evan Marshall, um, Nomar Mazzara, Lurie Garcia, um, and Carlos Rodon. They signed uh, uh, Alex Colome to a uh, 10.5 million dollar um, contract extension uh, Evan Marshall, uh, they signed for $1.1 million. Lurie Garcia for $3.25 million. Nomar Mazzara for $5.56 million. And Carlos Rodon for $4.45 million. Of course, Carlos Rodon is recovering from Tommy John surgery, and he will not be uh, um, with the uh, White Sox on the active roster until sometime in the second half of next uh, of this coming season is what is expected so we'll see um column a last year had a 2.80 earned run average and a uh, 107 whip in 61 innings pitched uh, evan marshall had a 249 earned run average and a 130 whip in 50.2 innings uh, Lurie Garcia had a uh, 279 batting average with eight home runs and only a 688 OPS. Um, Mazzara had a 268 batting average with 19 home runs for the Rangers and a 786 OPS last year. And Carlos Rodon had a 519 earned run average of 144 whip in 34 and two thirds innings of work last season so now the White Sox have no arbitration eligible players left so um, they're getting ready for spring training and another one of the moves that they have made in that vein is also to DFA Dylan Covey which um, is probably no surprise to anyone of course Dylan Covey was a uh, former rule 5 draft pick um, so when they got him two or three years ago, he had to stay on the roster the entire year. It was a very forgettable year. I believe he allowed 20 home runs in 78 innings pitched. And, uh, in 63 games for Chicago, he has a 654 earned run average. So if he clears waivers, which... I would expect is going to happen. He can be assigned to the White Sox minor league system and hopefully try to work out his uh, issues down there, whatever they are. I mean, the poor performance is obvious, but whatever it's attached to, maybe he can work through it and, um, and some at some point make his way back onto the Major League roster, but hopefully we are in a situation now where we won't need that with all the good young pitching that the team has. We should uh, hope that we're not going to need Dylan Covey. Um, so we'll see what happens with him. I mean, I liked the guy, and I liked the pickup at the time. Um, and, you know, and sticking with him, uh, which they had to, or they would have had to give him back to uh, the team they got him from which I don't remember what team that was but um, uh, but they did uh, they did stick with him they tried the White Sox try to make it work and uh, you know so far it hasn't really gone that well so we'll we'll see what happens with that so that's about all the news I had I just wanted to update you on uh, what they've uh, what the White Sox have been doing the last few days and um, Still getting ready for spring training. Is everybody psyched for that? Everybody's psyched for spring training to start? I mean, I got all kinds of stuff 
I'm waiting for now. I'm, you know, I'm going to order the uh, baseball prospectus. Um, I've got my uh, pre-order for my Stratomatic uh, baseball set. It's probably going to start soon. And, uh, you know, and the uh, pitchers and catchers report, I think, sometime in mid-February. So, things are heating up. I'm getting ready. Are you ready? So, anyway, that's uh, all I got right now for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.